Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Parshala. Today we will discuss a problem of CSIR NEET June 2023 from the probability and statistics part. It is a Parsi problem whose question ID is 704107. So the problem is given that uh, let a continuous random variable x follow uniform distribution over minus 1 to 1 and define here y is equals to x square. So which of the following are not true for x and y? So here four options are given. We have to find which of the following are not true for x and y. That is we have to take the false option that is not true. So here continuous standard variable x follows uniform distribution. So firstly let's know about uniform distribution. A uniform distribution is a continuous random variable in which all values between a minimum value and a maximum value have the same probability. And here in the given problem, the minimum value is C. Here in the given problem, minimum value is minus 1 and the maximum value is we get plus 1. So, the probability density function of the continuous uniform distribution is fx is equals to 1 by b minus a for a less than equal to x less than equal to b and it will be 0 when x less than a or x greater than b. Now as given this the continuous random variable x follows uniform distribution over minus 1 to 1. So the probability distribution fx will be 1 by 2 that is what we see that uh, if x is equals to 1 by b minus a. So here b is equals to plus 1 and a is equals to minus 1. So we get probability distribution function fx is equals to 1 by 2. And the expectation of x will be a plus b by 2 which is equal to here a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1. So we get expectation of x 0. And here it is defined that y is equals to x square. So x and y are not independent we can see that x and y are not independent. And uh, to check about whether x and y are correlated or not, let's find the covariance of x and y by using this formula. The formula for covariance of x and y is expectation of xy minus expectation of x into expectation of y. Now here we can put here y is equals to x square that is e of x into x square and here e of x is equals to 0. So here we get e of x into x square minus 0. So it will become e of x square. Now we have to find expectation of x cube. So here we get covariance of xy is equals to expectation of x cube. Now the formula for the expectation of a continuous random variable x is e of x is equals to integration over minus infinity to infinity x into fx dx. And here we get expectation of x cube is equals to integration over minus 1 to 1 x cube into fx dx. Here we take the limit minus 1 to plus 1 since otherwise fx becomes 0. So here we can put the value of fx that is half. So integration over minus 1 to 1 x cube by 2 into dx. And uh, integrating this and putting the limiting values we get expectation of x cube is equals to 0. So we know if the covariance of x and y is 0 then we can say x and y are uncorrelated and if covariance of xy is not equal to 0 then x and y are correlated. So here we get covariance of xy is equals to 0. So we conclude that x and y are uncorrelated and dependent. Here what are the correct options? Here it is given they are independent and uncorrelated. But what we get? We get x and y are dependent. So it is not true. So it is the correct answer. And here it is given they are independent but correlated. We get dependent and uncorrelated. So it is not true. It is also correct option. It is given there are not independent but correlated. We get they are dependent and uncorrelated. It is also not true. And here 
they are neither independent nor correlated yes we get they are neither independent nor correlated so it is false that is the not correct option so option 1 2 and 3 they are not true for example so they are our options correct options thank you everyone if you like this video please subscribe our channel and